I know it's hard to see me with the light. There I go. I'm going to get my hair cut, friends. It's been, well, I had my last actual official haircut in July, and that was more of a trim to trim my bangs and just trim up my actual length because I was growing out my hair for a while. If you've been here for a while, you know I had short hair for a while, so we're going back to like the Bob Lob. I haven't actually confirmed what I want, but the girl I've been going to, I've been going to her for years, and I'm just gonna tell her, can you just <laughs> give me what I had, like when I had short hair before, but I wanna ask for like a fuller fringe, um, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm running late as usual, so I'll try and get some vloggy bits of me getting my hair done. It's just a cut, a wash and a cut, and then off to do some more fun Christmas stuff later on in the day. so cute I also feel very different shout out to Kelly for always giving me the best fringe cuts and the curl job so I don't have to deal with my hair for a week but I asked for like fuller bangs so this is kind of the outcome because when my hair like gets oily after you know a few days after I wash it it like gets really piecey and really thin so I want to just fuller bangs so I can still have a fuller fringe when my hair, you know, thins out during the week in between washes, but I'm super happy. It feels so much lighter, <sighs> much needed. So now we're going to a like little Christmas shopping market village type thing. We went there last year and I vlogged that. It was the first time that I went and there's so many like shops and restaurants and lights and just fun Christmas activities and they're like open all year round. So. I'm really excited to go and that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day and then probably just come home and relax. And I also have a book package that I need to unbox and show you guys the books that I got. So that is the rest of today. So let's, let's go. All right, friends, there's been a change of plans because we went to Peddler's Village and could not find any parking. So now plan B is Doylestown. We're at a cute little town going to a used bookstore or record store and walking around.
exciting things to show you. Obviously my book of the month picks came, so we'll do that in a second. And I got some stickers from Made by Fia. And these are the things I got on our little trip out. At the used bookstore, I found this book, A Timeless Christmas, an enchanting time travel romance by Alexis Stanton. It just sounded so cute. And again, historical romance, early 1900s, time travel, Apparently it's also a Hallmark movie, <laughs> so I didn't need it, but I feel like if I didn't get it, I would like never come across this book again. So we got it. At the record store, I ended up getting two like Christmas records, <laughs> which is super exciting for me. I just wanna play some, you know, quiet, Christmas music. I wasn't really sure what kind to get, and I just picked these two, which were pretty cheap. This was $1.99, and this was a dollar, but it has all the classics on it, so we'll probably pop that in the record player. Here are my books. So this book you guys already know about, Kiss Her Once For Me by Alison Cochran. This is on my <laughs> December TV. I already talked about this book in that video. So this is my other <laughs> holiday cheesy romance, but this one just sounds really cute. Um, so I'm excited to read this after I read all the other ones that are <laughs> queued up. And the next book I got that is not a December TBR, but I think I'm gonna read this in January when we get through the holidays is The Circus Train by Anita Perik. This is a historical fiction set in 1938 and it's about this young girl whose father is an illusionist and works in a circus. And the girl also has polio and is bound to a wheelchair and befriends somebody 
and in the midst of just their lives, World War II is happening and all of the upheaval that brings. So this book just sounded really cute and cozy and you guys know I love historical fiction, so I had to get this book as my add-on, of course. And since it's the holiday times, I got more winter stickers from Book of the Month. This reminds me, it's been officially a year since I got Book of the Month. Last Vlogmas was my first Book of the Month and I got the same kind of sticker, so it's, kind of like cute and nostalgic and a tradition now and i also love the little bookmark same time tomorrow let's open up the stickers that i got because i got christmas ones i got these stickers from the same person on etsy where i got like her like fall and like dark academia stickers which i did share in a fall vlog many many weeks ago so let's open them up and see what i got I ended up getting two different Christmas holiday sticker sheets because I wanted to have enough stickers to get me through the month of December. So I definitely have to make it a point to use these because I'm really bad at actually using my stickers because I think they're so pretty. I don't want to like disrupt <laughs> the state of them, but I've been getting better at them and putting them in my like weekly planner and all of that. So I think these are so cute. I love the doodles, the artwork, and I will link uh fia's shop i think her name is sophia but made by fia is her shop name i will link her shop down in the description and then i just got a winter sheet because you know we're, we're going into winter very soon and again so cozy so cute i mean look at this little penguin i love it i love it so much i love this is what i love about winter just this so love all these stickers and then i got a freebie, a little mushroom. 